with movement. Most of us are spending our days at a desk doing repetitive motions. Sitting for hours like that with no movement can contribute to discomfort and health issues, not to mention stiffness in the neck and the shoulders and the back. So we want you to join us as we take little breaks throughout the whole show, and we're gonna do some office stretches, and the audience can join as well. Yoga expert Seth Mohan is here to walk us through them. Hello, Seth. So you gotta get out of the desk and show us some poses. Let's talk a little bit about why we need to be moving. Absolutely, and you know, before we get into the poses, I just wanna talk about what it is that we're trying to accomplish mm -hmm. and why. So our spine is designed to move, right? It flexes, mm -hmm. extends, lateral movement, and it can rotate. Yeah. But what happens when you're sitting in one position, your spine is stationary, and that leads to pain, leads to stiffness if that's left unchecked. Okay. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna decompress the spine, which is to lengthen it. What happens is when we're sitting or standing, the spine's in a load-bearing position, mm -hmm. and because a lot of us don't activate our cores, all that weight goes into the spine, which means that spine, the lumbar portion, which is the lower back here, starts to compress. Yes. So we try to lengthen from there. So we're gonna come into Uttanasana, forward fold. Okay. So you can start with your feet about hip-width distance apart, knees just slightly bent. Yeah. And let your chin drop into the chest. Do you want to stand chest. up and do it with us? Yeah, let's go. Why don't you stand go. up and do it with us? So it's a fold. Go down as far as you can. Don't break anything. Yeah. I'm just trying to stretch you out. But yeah, go ahead. Knees slightly bent. So let your chin drop into the chest. Arms are heavy. You're going to start to just roll your spine down as you go. Let yourself follow your lead. If it starts to get heavy, just let your hands support you on the way down. You can put your hands on the, on the knees. You can bend your legs even further if you need to and allow your spine to completely fold as you come into Uttanasana, which is our forward bend. Again, keep your knees just slightly bent throughout. You can use your hands for support. Once you get to the bottom, relax the head and neck. You wanna be able to just feel the head and neck be loose. And as you lengthen into the spine, support that by pulling your lower belly in. And that helps to activate the abdominal cavity supporting the length in your spine. If you want to go a little further, you can straighten up the legs, you can grab opposite elbows, just rock a little side to side, getting into the lateral part of the body as well. Are you feeling Feel it? Feel that stretch. Oh, you guys look really good. Breathing into it. Mm -hmm. And to come back, just come back to center, release the elbows if you're holding them, and then we're gonna to start to stack the spine one more time. Your shoulders will stay heavy, the chin into the chest, the head's gonna come up last, taking your time as you st stack your spine let the joints come to stack on top of each other. Okay, well, pink shirt, you're never getting up, are you? <laughs> it looks so good, actually. Everyone wake up. We're going to do more a little bit later. You can have a seat. You were fantastic. I love that. And so was Seth. Yeah, give him some love for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And it is time for our next stretch with Seth. So this one can be done sitting down or standing. So I'll get you all to join us, but sitting down. And what, why don't you walk us through it? Seth, what are we doing now? Absolutely. So we're going to move back up into the neck. Mm -hmm. And you can start off, like you said, seated or standing. Mm -hmm. Just let your chin drop down into the chest like we did earlier. And now let your ear far, fall towards your shoulder. And as you inhale, curl your neck up. Take it across to the left or the other side. And then on the exhale, down all the way to the other side. Just do these rotations in a slow, controlled manner. If you feel any place where it's particularly stiff, just hang out, breathe going in both directions as well, so switching sides. And this is part of a good daily neck and shoulder hygiene. So if you can find time to do these stretches every day, it's really great and it's preventative as well. Mm -hmm. And you're Just, saying, Seth, every like, what, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, yeah, try and do this? Yeah, 25 minutes if you wanna just stand shake it out, move yeah. a little bit, right? Love so that. So you're not just in that one position the whole time. Thank you, Seth. That is a good one. He's got a lot more stretches up his sleeve, so stay tuned for those. And so throughout the whole show, uh, Seth has been sharing stretches with us that we can easily do at the office to add some movement to our days, or if you're at home on your sofa, you can do this as well. So it's time for the next stretch. Uh, Seth, what are we stretching now? What are we gonna do? All right, so we're gonna come into a little bit of spinal rotation. Mm. So standing with your feet just wider than the hips. Again, knees just slightly soft. Yeah. So there's a bit of a bounce to it. Let your arms be heavy beside you. Just gonna roll from side to side. Okay. And as you're rotating from side to side, you can add breath to it. You can inhale on one side, exhale to the other. And the other thing to be mindful of is noticing where the hips are facing. You wanna keep your hips facing forward so you're not having your hips rotate. You wanna have just the spine rotating from side to side so the hips stay level. 
She's going easy. Is it weird that I haven't mentioned that Dr. Joey Schulman is with us as well? <laughs> She's also stretching with us because no, we're going to be good. chatting uh, a little bit about food and your mood. But this is great. And it is important to remember to breathe. Absolutely. Because you want to hold breathing. your breath, yeah. right? Keep breathing. Stay tall. Very nice. Okay. Love well, it. Thank well you. Joey is very yeah. tall. You I'm do that tall. well. <laughs> Welcome back. Get ready for another great stretch with Seth. We've been doing this all throughout the show. So which move are we doing now? What should we stretch? All right, we're going to get into the lateral part of the body. So the side stretching. So you can Beautiful. sit or stand again. <sighs> shoulders relaxed. Lifting one arm up beside you. Draw the shoulders down the back. You can look up if that feels good for your neck on an inhale. And then as you exhale, folding over to the opposite side. Just breathe into that side body. If you want to intensify the stretch, you can take your other hand and reach it for the opposite leg and just add a bit of a pulling motion. And you might feel that deepen and intensify the stretch a little bit. Mm. Staying here, breathing into the side ribs. I see you breathing in the audience. Good job. Because sometimes the tendency is to do these things and stop breathing. Exactly. Right? Coming back on an inhale and you can do the other side, reaching the other arm up, draw the shoulders down, finding your steady gaze and then on an exhale, folding to the side. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't take much, you know? Every, you know, every little once in a while, you feel like you've been sitting there looking at your monitor too long. Do a couple of these stretches, and it'll help loosen you up. Seth, thank you for that. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right. Before we wrap up today, we have one more stretch with Seth to get in. And I love that we've been doing this. What are we going to do now? Okay, so one of the things that happens is when we're sitting down, our shoulders tend to round forward. We have those hunchbacks. So what yeah. I want to do before we go today is just open up across the chest and get that flexion and extension happening for the spine. So you're going to stand um, just nice and relaxed. Inhale, lift the arms up and let your eyes follow your fingertips. And as you do that, let your chest lift up and arch into the low back. So you want to have your pelvis sort of tilting back and we arch into the spine here. Breathing into the space, lifting your chest as you reach up through your fingertips. And then on an exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together and bring the elbows right into the ribs, but still keep Ooh, that open I posture that. across the chest and really arch into the spine here, breathing into the space. Mm, you guys feeling that? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Squeeze and hug the shoulder blades together behind you. And from here, we're going to come into spinal flexion. So on an exhale, bring your palms and forearms together, round into your spine. Think cat back here. So pull your forearms away from the face and tuck your tailbone forward. So now we're getting into that spinal flexion. You're like the letter C now. Exactly. Yeah. I'm running out here. of time. So you, you keep leading them through the stretch and I'm going to wrap it up. There you it go. It feels so good. <laughs> 